Let's try that again. Good. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Oh, it's, it's not a Monday without something going tragically wrong. In this case, my computer just decided it didn't want to uh, exist with my microphone in the same place at the same time until I reset it. <laughs> anyway, good morning. We're going to be continuing Dragon Quest Eight today. <laughs> Fuck sakes. But before we continue that, I am still fundraising for the LG LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail and stuff for LGBTQ folks. We tend to uh, be disproportionately affected by uh, society, and that includes the, the industrial prison complex and all that. So this this fund helps combat that. So any way you wish to support that is greatly appreciated. I have a, a button below my stream. I have a chat command, exclamation point donate. And I have my chat bot that shares that donate uh, command every so often. And I also have my Discord shared by that if that's something you're interested in. Anyway, you use the support that's greatly appreciated. <laughs> Hopefully the um, <laughs> desktop audio works. I mean, it should. It's set to my headphones. It was set to my headphones. My mic was just decided to quit doing what it's supposed to. Anyway. I'm rambling. Let's stop. Let's stop rambling. Oh, I almost uh, did a thing without doing a thing. I need to uh, make sure this is up too, cause I forgot that my computer restarted. <clears throat> so I gotta make sure that's up too. It should be now. Yes, we are. We're good to go. We are good to go. No, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. And here, uh, here I was thinking today would be going would be smooth sailing, and so far the sailing's been bumpy and fraught with my brain thinking of shit it doesn't need to be thinking about when I'm trying to uh, sleep. <laughs> so, you know, you you know, brain go burr. <clears throat> Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Brain well and truly goes burr. Where we left off last time, we climbed a, a big ass tower to try to find the. Uh... We'll go back, Yangus. <clears throat> yeah, we had to climb this big ass tower to find these uh, gemstones, and it turns out they were not at that tower, they were somewhere else. Thankfully, that somewhere else was, well, somewhere I could easily find, so we found it. It's actually a really similar statue to that, but we got the we got the gemstones, and now I gotta talk to this fucker. <clears throat> you disgust me! I didn't know you from Adam, but still I took you in, and this. He's how you repay me. I... I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I... I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold. 
Just who do you think you are? Ah, well, this is a wonderful way to start. Of course he has. Such impertinence. No doubt the vile thereabouts put poison in your food as well. Please, Master. You must believe me. I would never serve Leopold, Sir Leopold, poison. Why should I believe you? If you want to prove. Oh no, let's just kill this guy. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna help you do Omega. Let's kill this dude. <laughs> I watch. Not like that. On your hands and knees. And look like you're enjoying it. Dude's gonna even this dude's gonna go through with it too. Oh God! Well, <laughs> That's it. Oh. It suits you. I can imagine this awoken something in someone. Well, said Leopold, he seems safe enough. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, oh, oh. Daddy, Sir Leopold is as much your master. As I am, I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? No. Go back. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for my servant's unsightly display. You should be apologizing for something else, fucker. So, <clears throat> what are you doing here? If you come to report back, I'll, uh, be waiting in my room. Oh, it's you. <laughs> you saw that, did you? How embarrassing. For some reason, the master's in a bad mood today. He needs someone to take his frustration out on. I'll have to be careful he doesn't dismiss me. I don't want to leave this job. I like it here, and I'm very fond of the master. Can't explain why exactly, but I feel like it's fate that they end up working here. Woof woof grrr. Well I I I'm 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 finding it harder and harder to believe this guy's not a, just a piece of shit. <laughs> like Yeah. Yeah. Blech. Ah, there you are. I hope that little saying before didn't upset you is nothing unusual. I don't know why, but just looking at David's face makes my blood boil. Of course, <clears throat> I never dream of firing him. I have far too much fun being his master. <laughs> but enough of that. Have you got the jewels? Have you brought me the Cran Spinners? Ha <laughs> You have! I won't have you bore me with details. I only care about results. Yes. Just holding them in my hands, I can feel the waves of magical energy flowing out of them. Yes, the Cran Spinners. Making an impenetrable barrier will be simplicity itself with these. That wand waving bimbo won't stand a chance. Dude, that's not a cool thing to just call someone. <laughs> and I expect you're feeling rather pleased with yourself. Helping the great Dominico is an all. <clears throat> Did not. So, let me reward you. You may serve me as a god until that meddling girl comes back. I presume you accept this honor. 
Uh, might as well. Very good. From this moment on, you will be my bodyguards. And now, for the first task in your new post. Come this way. This leads to my secret library. You will find a book for me in there. The book is called The Big Book of Barriers. It contains a recipe for making a very powerful barrier. Dude just doesn't want to find a fucking book by himself. I also got some chests, uh, is, is it in here? Let's find out! Nope, nope, that's not the book. Is it in here? Let's find out! Oh, oh, well that's not, is the book in here? Oh, shucks, the book wasn't in any of those. Seems that have been written by one of Domenico's ancestors. My name is Cletus Dian Dia Diaconos. Cletus, huh? <laughs> I was an apprentice of a great magician, Kupus. Kupus is more than just a teacher and master of magical arts. He was also an extremely wise and intelligent man. One day he said to me, Someday evil will return to this land, and when it does, magical abilities of one of my descendants will identify them as the heir of a great sage. This will place them in terrible danger. Fearing for the safety of his kin, Master Kupus came to a monumentous decision. With a potent incantation, he would transfer his great powers to his own family line and attempt to hide the truth from the world. To my own family line. Once the faithful ritual had been performed, and Master Kupus stood bereft of his magical powers, he turned and left without another word. Desperately, I tried to follow him, but he had vanished without a trace and never saw his face again. Well. So, it's, so this is also a power that they didn't ask for, necessarily. My name is Cletus. After Mr. Koopas transferred his magical powers to me, I cast a, spe a special spell over both of our family lines. No matter how many years went by, the spell would ensure that the fates of our two families would be inextricably linked. That when the time came, our descendants would irresistibly be drawn together. I can only hope and pray that the Diakonos family will always watch over Check the descendants of Master Koopas. Big Book of Barriers. Was that really that hard? Is literally the only book on the shelf that matters. You could have just came down here and pressed X. <laughs> Whatever. Oh well, I got some treasure out of it, I guess. Uh oh. What on earth took you so long? That pesky wand-waving bimbo is turned up again. I must erect the barrier immediately. Did you find the big book of barriers? <clears throat> yes. Yes, this is it. Now, let me the final barrier. I must begin at once. You, go outside and stall that meddlesome floozy. What are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. Just before you go. Fiery foo and babbling goo. Behold. Oh, what's this, this gonna be a form? Go and stall that wand waving menace. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a boss fight, ain't it? Well, I did say I did the stream title is more plot, more clown, and I was suspecting there was gonna be a boss fight at some point with Jessica. <laughs> the music is going crazy with the spoons. <laughs> A 
seen if ignored my advice to prepare a stronger defense. Hello, Greg. You won't get past me. I won't let you lay a finger on Master Dominico. Dominico. <laughs> What's so funny? Such a pity. That you should I'm doing all right. Never know about your noble origins. Oh, Jessica's not after Domenico. She's after him. I could tell from the start that absurd show-off was not the one. The scepter is all-knowing. No, I seek the chosen heir of the great sage Coopus. One of the seven who sealed away the Lord of Darkness, Rathorn! Rathorn! And that, David, is you. What a pity that the one who should be protecting you is unaware of his responsibility. I'll be a little sad to watch you die. Jessica has been possessed by Dual Magus after we killed the clown and she picked up the staff. I'm guessing that's how it happened. Evil Jessica draws near. No, uh, do I have any useful spells with you? Nope. Uh, it's probably gonna be Starburst throw then. This, this boss might be immune to um, getting its defense lowered, but we're still going to try. There's no reason not to. Just got to keep doing damage. Dodged one. You dodged one. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I should heal with Ravis or use um or you just keep attacking, because I think Angel technically does more damage. Yeah. It Multi shot does more damage. So I'll just. For now, I'll use full heal. Kafrizzle! Rude? Ow! Rude? Well, it's a good thing I'm using full heal, huh? <laughs> now, I'm glad I did that! Because. <laughs> Because this boss just dumped a ton of damage on on Hero there, all of a sudden, very quickly. Mm. 
to crackle! Damn, my Jessica doesn't even have that spell. Oh, that's fun. Just, just made some new friends, huh? Nice. It actually hit. Gotta kill the ads. Oh, I guess they're immune to magic. That's great. Well, they're not immune to that. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, do I have a, a waking up spell? I don't know if I do. Tingle's paralysis, I think. Hmm. Oh, it's both. Well, all right. Wakey, wakey. Well, that's a good way to clear those out, at least. <laughs> Oh, it finally worked! A sixty-nine! <laughs> nice! <laughs> of course it would be sixty-nine. Why wouldn't it be? God, boomers are so good in this game. Oh, shit. Well, that's not great. Uh, do I have anything for sleep, or am I just gonna have to make deal? Probably just gonna have to make deal while these things attack. Okay, so far that's not so bad. Don't hit me, hit someone else! Maybe not with Caprizzle. Ow. Really? Alright. Weird that just does nothing. Wait, god damn, they're still asleep. Um. Alright, well, this is kind of awkward. I. <laughs> damn it, I took off the good healing items from Yangus, too. Um. Well. Oh, one of you woke up. Oh, now you wake up. Perfect timing. Ah, miss. Shit. Kablam! Not again. Oh, jeez. You do have Tingle, at least, though. Damn 
Thankfully, these shadows aren't like very strong, just kind of annoying. I just gotta get a turn where Angelo can actually heal us, though. Without getting snoozed straight to hell. There we go. Okay, we're probably fine. Alright, the shadow, shadow things are probably gonna die. Oh, yep, they're dead. Stop! God damn it! <laughs> Well, at least Hero woke up. <laughs> He's still asleep, though. I've got a feeling that she, that she, like, starts doing this when she's lower health to kind of slow down the fight. Or something. Yeah, no, we're gonna just multi-heal. Top up on HP. You know, that, that kind of stuff. I'm so glad I level grinded to where Angela learned multi heal. That saves a lot. That's so good. Well, that's unfortunate for your little friends because they're gonna just get spawn camped basically. <laughs> oh yay, Wang Yangus woke up. Hey, you know what? It's a turn that she's not using snooze. I'll take it. Damn it. <clears throat> I should probably be using Helm Splitter again since her defense returned to normal. More friends. <clears throat> oh, those things are pretty weak in general. Well, all right. <laughs> I was hoping that hero would move first. Oh, okay, we won we beat everyone. Boomerangs are so good in this game. Ooh, level up. That's a good pretty good level up. Wish, wish she would have gained a little more MP, but you know. Kaswoosh! <laughs> I love the fucking names of these spells. Becomes a Saint Archer. Learns Shining Shot. Ooh. Imagine that's like a light based uh, shot. It, it's not possible. N no human <clears throat> could match the power of the scepter. You won't get away with this. Now you'll see the true power of this scepter. Already it has ended the bloodlines of four of the sages. This time will burn, and every one of you will perish. Get out of the way! Move! Move! <laughs> Just in the nick of time, the barrier is ready. Yo, villainous fiend! Take my life, would you? Well, you'll have to break through my barrier first! Ah, the chasm! My life! Nope. No, dog, don't touch the scepter! It's full of clown! Oh, hey, Jessica's back. 
Ooh, that's gonna hurt the leggies. My eyes. Please don't touch that scepter. Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. I like that blurry dude. In, I like that blurry dude in the background, like the little hood. He's just very blurry, like he's a cryptid. <laughs> I must reward you. You may have the honor of finishing her off. Do you accept? What? Why on earth not? Explain yourself. Well, well. So, this girl is a friend of yours. And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeated the Dual Magus. Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. The girl is yours to do with as you please. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect my life. There won't be any uh, <clears throat> financial reward, of course. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy's a stereotype. And I don't really like that, and I don't really like him. So hopefully we talk to him as little as possible. Wait. Where's the Leopold? Oh no, the dog grabbed the scepter, and it's now an evil dog, huh? Um, he must have been scared off by all the disturbance. David, go and find Sir Leopold at once. Y yes, master. Party carried in cautious Jessica to the inn. She appears to have some kind of dream where she cannot wake up. Oh, God damn it. Wakey, wakey. I heard this story from my great-grandmother. She told me how her own great-grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the western country. Rip, rip, Jessica. You would, you would have loved. Uh, uh, fuck. I can't remember the na the name of the the movie where like it's a dream within a dream. I can't even. I can't remember the name of the movie, but you would have loved. <laughs> a sage. What do you mean? Inception. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't really understand the first. Either. Yes. <laughs> the. the the cylinders in my brain hadn't fired up fully, and they never really do. Let's be real. <laughs> even though she was a woman, she was good at things. God, oldie timey suck shit. So I'm I'm woman. I can be good at thing. Maybe that's why you're so good at them too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work. And any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks. But it really isn't. In fact, if you ask me, I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you, but one day they will be. Oh, is this gonna be one of these like, to see you when that like she's gonna like wake up from being possessed by Dual Magus and learn to have a whole bunch of fucking new magic? You would be dressed in like the fucking like dragon warrior hero kind of shit, Alistair. But one day you'll level up and learn new spells, <laughs> right? That angle's funny, she looks really small. <laughs> Why does she look so small from that angle? <laughs> ah, she's finally coming too. King Trode. Gov. Gov. <laughs> Gov. <laughs> what happened? I love how yeah, they, like, your character is... Like even in the new MDQ eleven, they can't. They don't say like the car the name you input, and it's like Gov. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Mustelid. Welcome. We just we just fought a clown that was possessing Jessica because we killed the clown last stream, but his soul was still in the staff. And then she touched the staff, and then she was possessed by the clown. <laughs> it looks like you're back with us at last. 
And now it seems like this one dude's uh, dog picked up the staff and is now probably an evil dog because Don't you remember? that's how it goes. You disappeared the day after we defeated Doom. Oh yeah, Silvando is by far the best fucking character in goddamn DQ11. It's not even close. Yes, I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dulmega's was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. The Lord of Darkness. Rapthorn. Ah, so Dulmega's himself was probably also being controlled. But I found some things out. Listen. I've got so much to tell you. <clears throat> but there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. It, it takes a lot of willpower for me not to want to play DQ11 again on stream. Yes. This is just such a good game. Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages so his seal would be broken. I saw some I saw some some of the chatter about that on Twitter. <laughs> I didn't fully finish 11 like there's like a there's like the you you be, you know you fight you know typical oh this is the demon lord you fight them blah blah and then there's like quote unquote post game or like ah oh, no ads. No, I didn't beat the final final boss like the big evil space dude. Because it's, the grind seemed really ridiculous, and I need to at some point. So maybe that's a good enough excuse to play Eleven again. Like, because from what I recall, the grind to beat that guy would have been ridiculous, and I don't think I wanted to put do that on stream, but maybe another time I can. Yeah, sometimes I just don't fully finish things either. I think part of the problem with the, the grind to finish that was like I saw these things online where like you do all these like pet powers to like in a very specific way and they make everything turn to like metal slimes or some shit. I'm like, that sounds tedious. Oh yeah, I love DQ11. Really good. And makes me ha makes me happy to see where the si they're gonna keep doing the series from going forward because it was really good. Rapthorn once terrorized the world. And it was the seven sages who managed to seal away his soul. However, the next the next Dragon Quest thing I'm going to be playing after this will be uh, DQ Treasures, because it just looks fun. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely. But they shut his soul away in the scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those sages' heirs. Treasures. Master Rylas, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat, too. Everyone who's been killed has been an heir of one of the Seven Sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. I do at some point want to play DQ Builders 2, because I've played Builders 1 off stream, but I've never played I've never gotten around to doing Builders 2. Do you mean to say The Christmas track <laughs> and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? How, was there was there was there even a dragon in it? It looked like it was a really poor ripoff of How to Train Your Dragon, but Christmas. Like, seeing as like a, a... Oh, there was two of... Well, I guess that counts. There's... That's technically double the expected amount of dragons. <laughs> double the value. I don't know. But there are only three heirs left. David and two others. If the heirs of all seven sages are wiped out... Rapthorn's seal will be broken and he'll escape from the sept. That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? <gasps> you, you mean the royal treasure? Come to think of it, I don't know. The dog I took sight it. Of it in all of the hullabaloo. King Chode. <laughs> that's not polite, Gray. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not polite. He looks more like a ball sack than a chode. No. <laughs> David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on. We must find the scepter before it's too late. It's 
So whose house? Oh, this is the inn. I was like, whose house is this? Uh, can I at least rest? I mean, I can't. I can't believe they didn't like heal us after that. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, boss fight, and your your characters are literally at the inn, but they don't sleep. La Lameo. Better double check that they do, or you're gonna get in a bad situation. <laughs> the entire an hour and 43 minutes of the Christmas dragon. It sounds like it's either it's either one of those fun to make fun of movies because it's just not very good, or it's just like not fun to make of make fun of because it's not very good, but it's too serious about itself. Or maybe that's make maybe that makes it even better to make fun of. I don't know. There you are. Thanks so much. I'll never forget how you saved my life. Doesn't make any sense. She said that it was an heir of a great sage, but she's got it wrong. I'm just an ordinary man. The Christmas tree was a truly cut up. Is that related to the Christmas dragon or is that a different movie that you watched? At least just like, I want to see people fight. Uh, a, a totally different. I wasn't sure if that was like part of the Christmas dragon. Like, the, the, the tree was just particularly just kind of shitty. Alright, beefcake dude. Work, have you seen dog? Nope, you haven't. You're just talking about Arcadia. Let's go get us some Jesus real quick. I guess, sorry, not Jesus, Goddess. We'll get some Goddess real quick. Oh, Goddess. <laughs> they almost never really go over in depth, like, the, like, kind of, like, divinity or, like, details about the uh, their deity in these games. They do in 11 though, and especially 9. Like 9 they go very in depth in like the whole divinity and stuff of like everything. Which makes sense because you're, you're like a fucking angel. It makes sense that you would because you're, you're part of it. <laughs> yeah this one's just like oh she's there, it's a goddess. It's like cool. Thanks. Where the fuck is this dog? You, have you seen a dog? I'm looking for a dog. Have you seen a dog, Leather Daddy? Oh, excuse me. Oh, have I broken this? No, I hadn't yet. Sneaky, sneaky jar trying to evade my property damage. <laughs> hmm. Now, where the shit is this dog? Did they, like, leave town? Or is it gonna be like, we can't leave town until we find the dog? No, well, you can totally just leave town. Um. Where, is Jessica just not with us? Interesting. 
An arrow attack that bathes all enemies in a destructive magical light. Oh, that's an hit all spell now for Angelo's bow. That's pretty cool. Don't dodge me. That's not polite. Oh, uh, is the Krispy Kreme not a good experience? I've got a feeling I probably shouldn't be leaving town. Ah, okay. I, I see, yeah. Yeah, I've got K-Cups of, like, McDonald's McCafe. Just because I can buy them in bulk. That's basically the only redeeming factor of them. Is I can buy them in bulk so I don't, I don't have to worry about it. Running out for a while. Surely the dog's not in here. That'd be silly for the dog to be inside. Ah, that's always nice to have like little places like that. I think I've already read these books, but I wasn't sure. Yep, the, the price of convenience is mediocrity, usually. this fucking dog. I'm assuming we don't leave town because otherwise Jessica would probably come with us. But, uh... Hmm. I guess we gotta talk to people. <clears throat> it just isn't men who make good stonemasons. Uh, yeah, you're just you're just stonemasoning. This oddly suspicious enemy-looking statue. I've definitely fought those enemies in this game already. <laughs> oh, did I open this? Apparently, I did. That or there's just nothing in there. Is it really a B and E if you're not like actually breaking and entering? You just kind of walk in. Is it just an E? <laughs> yep, yep, we get it. Yep, you know, I know. Hmm. I could look this up, but I don't really want to. But. It's right on again. Yeah, it's right on. I 
as I probably ranted about last stream, Rhydon is a way better Pokemon than um, Rhyperior. I, they tried too hard with Rhyperior and it's, it's just kind of ugly. Not even like a charming way, it's just kind of ugly. Hello child, have you seen the dog? I love Grandad, Grandad statue. It's so boing and really boom and kind of bam as well. All right, whatever, kid. Everyone who knows anything about masonry says the same thing. Rhydon Cranbartle is a man of unparalleled genius. He's already had shipped all of the great Cranbartles who gone before him. My poor father-in-law just can't see it. I suppose it's troubled geniuses. Sometimes the simplest things pass them by. And you don't suppose Dad knows anything about it? Hmm. If I can't find this dog anywhere in town, I'm probably gonna just look it up. Cause as much as much as I like just like playing these games blind and trying to figure it out and play it, like I've never you know been on the internet before. Sometimes you just got for the interest of uh, time, you gotta not do that. <laughs> come down here? I don't know if I did. The Overlord of the Rings. Well, if I have this this recipe, then I already did. Definitely did, then. Yep, I definitely did. Okay. Uh, anyone to talk to in that case? And it definitely isn't up that a lot of these older JRPGs like this are just, like, like the like part of their their hook is they're fucking obscure as shit on purpose. <laughs> so you either gotta like really just figure it out like immediately, or it's just like, yeah, it'll be kind of floundering for a little bit. But I am attempting to uh, utilize the oldest, the oldest trick in the book is just talking to everyone, and apparent so far it doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. The only thing I think of now maybe go back to that tower and talk to Rhydon, maybe. I heard a rumor monsters are coming back. Whoa, are you sure? Comes comes back inside town covered in slime goo. Whoa, that's a nice rumor. <laughs> Useless an expositional bit. I mean, I don't, I don't I don't really hate the the uh like the banter stuff like that because a lot of times it can be used for like building up like world lore which i can respect that at least but at the very least like <coughs> like there, there could be at least a clue somewhere i guess we can try talking to these two i don't think it's dangerous to even touch the scepter so if we can't pick it up what are we going to do with it when we find it just got the scepter with her in, with her and with the in her hand, but it went flying when Domenico was done his oaks pokes bit. Cool, we're in the right fix if it's falling into the sea or something. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure the dog took it. I don't know where the dog went, so I'm about to. I'm just gonna look it up because, um, yeah. <clears throat> Go talk to Domenico and then leave his house. I literally went there and I couldn't find him. <laughs> I must have just missed him. I don't know how. He's wearing a very, like, obvious costume. Ugh, whatever. I literally went to this dude's house and I don't think I saw him. I don't know how I didn't see him, but... Yeah, whatever. If that's the answer, then so be it. I was basically... Basically, I'm, I'm gonna take solace and I basically found the answer on my own. I just didn't see the dude. I, He's in, he's in here, isn't he? Son of a bitch. Okay, yeah. He was he wasn't here. I just didn't come into this room. I've not been feeling well ever since seeing that little witch off. You know, it's not a physical matter. I've just got an uneasiness I can't seem to shake. It's hard to put into words, but I've gripped by the feeling that I've made a most almighty blunder. But the great Domenico does not suffer from indecision and regret. I'm in no mood to talk now. Leave me. Come back and see me later if you need something. Okay. Listen to what I heard today. There's talk that Master Domenico isn't the heir of the great sage at all. They're saying it's actually David. What a load of rubbish. Do you, don't you go believing it. Oh, whatever, you little stinky man, stinky cook man. It's a shame there's no jars in here for me to smash over your little head. <laughs> However, there is a jar. Oh, oh, I was gonna say there's a jar out here. Ah! Ah, someone help! Come quickly! I it's David. Hold that thought. I, I'm. I have this jar, and I said I was gonna do it. Not you. Why are you stinky little man? Fuck you. <laughs> Just smash a jar over his head like his lo fucking Looney Tunes. Evil dog! Evil dog! Oh, Jesus! Bark, bark, I'm mad. There are only two left. He will interfere. Oh, well, David's dead no now. More. Dog killed him. Or the very least took his power away. Please go after Sir Leopold. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty strong dog. <clears throat> he, he's, he's the only one who makes Master Dominico happy. Without Sir Leopold, Master Dominico would would be so Unhappy, master. Uh, what what's happened, David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Cooper's. Why has it taken me so long to realize? <clears throat> I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together for a reason, but I, I, no, just thinking about it is too painful, is unbearable.
I must apologize if I worried you. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. <clears throat> now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David. <clears throat> This has always been my duty. But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. Yeah, as one of the books explained I was reading downstairs in his little weird basement. Uh, Domenico's family um, received ma the magic power from the Sages family to protect the Sages from being uh, targeted because they hold Rapthorn at bay. But that didn't really work because the Rapthorn knows who they are, of course. <laughs> if only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. I ordered my servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. But... Nothing can put right the wrong I have done. I am not fit to show my face in public. Will you do me one last favor? I know it was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but... Will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge this? Oh, my friend Jedi would not be able to play this game because he refuses to hurt that a dog ever. Isn't my <laughs> Leopold anymore. Which I can respect that, He's but like this dog's a, this dog is evil. Evil magic. <laughs> evil dog. I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but. It's all I can do now. And I owe you something, too, for all the trouble I have caused you. Oh, yes. I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential as a magician. Allow me. Oh, she gets Why she gets new spells. Powers Within you, Alistair would be proud. Gazizzle, Kakrakle. Oh, I hey! Say, they saw Leopold Eddie North out of town. That's where you should start looking. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish you the best of luck. Well, that's cleared up. Let's uh, let's go, let's go kill a dog. I guess. <laughs> Wait a minute, Gov. Wait a minute, Gov. Uh, it's nothing much, but ever since we defeated Dolmagus and I picked up the scepter, I haven't been able to speak my own mind. So I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. <clears throat> I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. I don't intend to stop searching until we've found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together? Oh no! So, did that come out a bit strange? How will I cope with having... Just go around more. Really? Thanks. You're sweet. <laughs> you know that? I noped out the John Carpenter's. Oh no, yeah. 100%. percent i would be like, yeah, no, that's a little much. Like, dogs are friends most of the time. Like, I, 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 I try my best not to hurt any. 
well, really anything if I don't have to. But, you know, that's... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, did I not even go to the fucking... The inn? Whatever, I, just, I have to go to the inn now. That's not the end. This is the end. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's Medea. Welcome to Dreamland, Sleepyhead. I'm so grateful for these chances to talk to you. Gov. <laughs> I just kind of have to say Gov now whenever they say the, the main character's name. Because it's just really funny to me. How, like, Jessica now says Gov <laughs> those times. And I'm so happy Jessica's back with us. Even if Father and I are still cursed. Sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every time I think of Trodane covered in thorns. You know what's strange, though? That you weren't affected by the curse. Gov. But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about you. Gov. <laughs> Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I miss talking to you. You're talking to me right now, in my dreams! Kind of? Maybe? It's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird dynamic. Well, now that's all resolved. Let's save again, and then we'll head. We'll go after uh, the dog creature thing guy. Wee! We probably need to give Jessica some. Yep, she needs her items back. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of them. Pretty sure this is one of them too, even though like this staff is like really old. It's the only staff I've really found in stores so far. And she gains like 100 MP when she freaking equips a staff. So it's very important that she has one, even if it's not very good. What are your stats now, Jess? 118 defense. So I might need to give her something that gives a good amount of defense. Like maybe that. Hmm. Hmm. I've got a feeling if you equip a bunch of bunny stuff on her, that like she um, just gets a bunny girl outfit. It would not surprise me, honestly. They, they like their bunny girls in Dragon Quest. Let's 
Uh, well, I guess that uh, Ruby of Protection is probably the best bet then in that case. Well, what's her agility at right now? Oh, it's actually the same as Angelo's. Alright, well, in that case, here, have the Ruby of Protection. <clears throat> a lot of me playing like games like th going back and playing games like this and then me playing treasures next is me just biding my time waiting for the Dragon Quest 3 uh, 2D HD thing to finally release that square that uh that Squeenix taunted me with like last year or so I was like oh my god I have to have that because DQ3 is like my top favorite Dragon Quest by a pretty large margin Although 11 comes close to unseating it because it has a lot of similar kind of like story beats. Port Kings! Kaswoosh! Oh wow, that's actually really strong. I wasn't expecting a swoosh to do that much. So now that she has another AoE and it's not the uh, boom. I'm just morbidly curious. Oh god, of course. There there. Uh, <laughs> Golem's like, look at me. <laughs> Do you think I'm interested in that? <laughs> Well, she got some MP back, I guess. Bonk. <clears throat> the only reason she has any skill points and sex appeal is because, um, one of the passive effects of having it high enough is that sometimes enemies just kind of get, like, enraptured and they lose their turn. Plus, I can't put any more skill points into, uh, what you call it, uh, stabs at, right now because she, I bet put all of them in there because she gets more good benefits from it, spell-wise or whatever. Just following the path. I don't really know where else to go. It says to the north, so probably past this. Swinging hipsters. Okay, Swoosh is still in, in a group. This, this hits all enemies, though. I'm interested to see what that does. We have to see this now and how much damage that does. Pretty good. Oh, 
Oh god, that's bu that's busted. <laughs> Good job, Angelo. Swinging nets are dropped a treasure chest. An herb. Great, thanks. Well, second, I s oh, it's one of these chapels like this. Perfect. Well, oh, oh, they're fucking dead. It's basically the same thing, except not a bow. Come here, cow. Thanks. <laughs> okay, we got some. We got some Jeebus. We have an end. Perfect. Snowy country. Yes. I'm so glad I have today off. Great to today, I have to go to the grocery store and do all my stuff I normally do on Sundays. Instead of, uh, I have to do those today instead of Sunday because yesterday was Christmas Day and nothing was fucking open. So, yeah. But at least I'm off today so I can actually get those stuff done. Uh, after stream. Because normally my streams go to 11, but today I'm going to make it go to 12, because I just have the time to do so. How much coffee we got left? Okay, I got a good amount. What's up, Bard? Okay, so we gotta go through a cave to get to the snowland, I guess. as fast and efficient as using those big spells but it saves a lot more MP. I don't know if I have to really be worried about that right now though because Jessica's got so much of it that it'll probably be fine anyway. And Angel can recover his own MP pretty quickly with a Seraph shot. So... Maybe I should just let loose a little bit. At least, at least with Angelo, because he can just get his MP back. Plus, this does a lot of damage. Oh, it committed suicide. Alright. Cool story. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can clean up some enemies pretty easy. I feel like my grinding on the metal slimes could put me in a, a position where I, like I'm maybe a little ahead of the curb and just fighting whatever encounters I run into hopefully keep me kind of around or near where I need to be. Dear Goddess, I thought I'd had it. A huge dog just came bounding through here. It nearly sent me flying, I tell you, and it was no ordinary dog either. Oh no, its eyes were burning red. And it was armed, it had a bloody great stick in its mouth. Well, I think that means we're in the right place. Wait, is this a dungeon or does this just lead to the cold lands? It's almost too cold. You might you, you might need to cover up King Joad. <laughs> but if we don't retrieve the scepter, Medea and I may never return to normal. We'll just have to grin and bear it. Let's keep pushing on. At least moving might help us to warm up a little. <sighs> That's kind of how I deal with the cold, too, honestly. It's like, just keep moving and maybe it won't be so bad. Ugh. Oh, it's really quiet here. It's kind of eerie, actually. Like, the triumphant, like, overworld theme is just gone. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, look at their, look at their outfit, Jessica. You'll probably be fine. <laughs> I like their interpretive dances. Oh, she's just dancing. She, there she goes. Yeah, they need to die this turn. Hydrate! Thank you, thank you. Now I'm not I'm not one to slut shame someone. Wear what you want, but it's fucking cold. It looks fucking cold. <laughs> put on a coat. <laughs> I shouldn't have to put up with being in a freezing place like this. It's all d d d Megas's fault. Well, but he's dead now. So I suppose it's that Leo. What's his name's fault? I don't know. A d d d dog of all things. <laughs> oh, stop your whinging, Grandad. It ain't as if we've got a sweat on, you know. Just get on with it. I beg your pardon? How uncalled for. I don't see why I shouldn't be able to say whatever I please. You've no right to talk to me like that. No right at all. I'm absolutely livid. Livid, I tell you. I'm going on ahead. Okay, bye. <laughs> Uh-oh. Avalanche. Well, that's uncomfortable. Are we dead? Nope. Thankfully, this big ass St. Bernard saved us. Doggo! Not an evil doggo. Just a big doggo. A big, normal. It closed the door with its tail! That's great. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, well. <laughs> I don't often get to see see Gov here carry freaking the, the vases around. It's usually as Yangus, he just picks it up on his shoulder like it's fucking nothing because he's, he's just corn fed. Mini metal, yay! I think in eleven the jar the jars you can pick up are a lot smaller than these, so it's a lot less comical with when uh, the luminary just like picks it up over his head and throws it. Hello. Ah, you are awake. Hmm, you have a nice color in your cheeks. It's a good sign. Dobro Pozalovat. Welcome to my home. I am Marta. I live out here in the mountains where I grow herbs. This will be ready for you soon. Drinking it should warm me up nicely. Oh, well, thank you. You seem like you're Russian for some reason. A warm coat is good to find. A red robe can be made by dyeing a sage's robe with a pigment made from certain red grass and enchanted water. A finished crimson-colored robe will protect its wearer from even the fiercest of blizzards. Red grass, as opposed to blue grass. The later lives of the sages. After a battle with the Lord of Darkness, one of the seven sages, the Graten, learned Kadan, headed back to his home in the snowy country. It's said that he spent his later years recounting and recording the tale of the great battle for the sake of his descendants. If any of the materials Kadan prepared could be recovered, it would represent a historical find of epic proportions. That dog over there is called Boris. He's the one who dug us out from the snow. What a good dog. What a dog. He's a lot more use than a certain king, don't you think? And he smells a bit better, too. How dare you, boy! How could you say such a thing about your own master? Honestly, who do you think called for the dog's help in the first place? We're just having a laugh. This tea is made from something called nook grass. It warms you up and makes you more resistant to the cold weather. It's a bit strong at first, but I could get to like it. Why don't you ask the old lady for some, too? How you feeling, Gov? You alright? I was worried about you, like, you was the only one who wouldn't wake up. This place belongs to the old granny over there. It was on your own, you know? We're not far from where that avalanche happened. She says we can stay here until the snow clears up a bit. When you got all caught in that avalanche, I hurried over to this hut for help. I was quite a panic, I must admit. But as luck would have it, that dog over there is a dab hand when it comes to pulling people out of the snow. Shit, dab paw. But if I hadn't come here in the first place, you'd still be eating snow. Mmm. I like snow. <laughs> Not really. I don't really like snow. Hello, pupper. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Please, drink. This nook grass tea will keep you warm even in the bitter cold of this snowy land. How terribly kind of you. First you save us from the avalanche, then you put us up for the night, and now you warm our innards. Yes, innards. Now that's what I call hospitality. And what's really amazing is that you helped a weird old monster like him in the first place. You loathsome lowlife. You of all people have no right to call me weird. It is true that his appearance is a little unusual. But when you get to my age, you learn not to judge a horse by its harness. And of course, I would help anyone who was in trouble so far from civilization. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why do you live all the way out here on your own? She grows weed. 
Of course I do not mind, dear. There is an old ruin behind my house. My ancestors have looked after it generation after generation. It is a family duty. That's where she grows the weed. But that will all end with me. I have no one to follow in my footsteps when my life is finished. Really? It must be pretty tough living on your own like this. Duty or no duty. It is comfortable enough. I have lived here since I was a child, so it is not a hardship. Besides, to live life is not to walk through a meadow. And from time to time, people get lost here in the mountains like you, so I am not lonely. And I always have Boris to keep me company. Ah, on the subject of dogs, we had something to ask you, Marta. This will sound a bit strange, but we're pursuing a big black dog, and we heard that he might have been headed in this direction. There's a good chance he may have come this way. Have you seen anything? Um, no. I am sorry. The only dog I know about is big old Boris over there. Sorry I cannot be of more help. You should ask where there is a lot of people. If you go down the mountain and go to the north, you will come to a town called Orkutsk. Maybe someone Orkutsk. will know something there. Well, I'm glad that the game told me how to say that, because I would have not said that correctly. Too white. <laughs> ah, that sounds like an excellent Orkutsk. idea. Right then, chaps, there's no time to lose. Oh, yo, yo. If you are hasty, others will only be amused. That is an old saying here. One should not be so eager to go back out into the blizzard. The night is coming. Why don't you rest here? I am sure the blizzard will be gone by morning, so you can leave for Orkutsk then. Yes, yes. Wise words, my good woman. Very well, we shall rest here the for night the is night. is dark and full of terrors. Like blizzard. blizzard. Or me. Bleh. <laughs> Go north from the bottom of the mountain, and you will come to Orkutsk. Please be careful on your journey. <gasps> By George! Who's George? Princess! Are you all right? Were you cold in the night? Forgive me, but I must ask you a favor. If you meet with a man called Marek in Orkutsk, please give this to him. Marek? Like Marek Ishtar? <laughs> he is probably working with herbs like I am. I would be grateful. Probably not quite like Marek Ishtar. That bag. Spashibo. Thank you. Then, off to Orkutsk. Toodly bye. Toodly bye. Who the fuck says that? I guess him. <laughs> okay, so. Not that way. This way. She did say north. Abominapes. And a frostburn. The name like this, like Abominapes, reminds you of freaking the new uh, primate evolution, Annihilate, which is absurd.
Ow. Rude. Dun 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 Sparse is also pretty good too. I cannot deny the supreme overlord of Dun Dun Dun, Dun, Dun Sparse. Or Dun Dun Dun, whatever it is, it's one of those. I cannot deny that one either. Dun 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 sparse, <laughs> yeah. Frost wyvin, wyvine. Gosh, these things are thick. Oh. See? That enemy got uh, enamored by Jessica's um, sex appeal. So now we don't, just don't have to fight it, basically, because it lost its turn. All's fair in love and war. I think a similar thing happens in um, DQ11 if your character's charm is high enough, which makes like it almost guaranteed to just happen when Silvando is like anywhere nearby anyone, because <laughs> his charm is usually really high. Well, it seems we've arrived in Orkutsk at last, and that nook grass really is quite marvelous. I wasn't a bit cold, even in all that snow. Now, we can stay outdoors as long as we like. Excellent! Well, I'll be waiting outside the town as usual. In you go! Oh, hello, random uh, snow puppy. Oh. You catch your death of cold sleeping out here. Why are you wearing such a ridiculous outfit anyway? He's a leather daddy. They 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 do that. Ugh, room for plenty more. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Right. Guess that way is the inn. Can you not be in the way, please? Get... Look, I, I know Yangus is a wide lad, but like, move, please. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a wide lad, but just it's hard for Yangus to fit in some doorways. Because he's just wide. Get it. Murmur. Item shop, what do you got? Nothing I need, necessarily. Um, let's sell that, because we got a better bow. We can sell that because that's just extra.
Zem, zem da. Mini metal. Chill Tavern. The herb doctor Merrick came to live here some years ago now. He's a very skilled man. I had the most awful hangover once, but just a few sips of his herb tea had me up on my feet again. No time. Damn it! Damn it! Hello, Necky. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Because it meant that I could drink as much as I wanted. No more headaches. But he got very angry when I said that. <laughs> It's very cold around these parts, that's why so many people drink to try to warm themselves up. In the ideal world, I wouldn't start drinking at lunchtime, but what choice do I have? I mean, I don't know. That grass? Drink? Eric sometimes has the odd drink and a chat with me here. He's always worried so much about his herbs. It must be very difficult trying to grow them in this cold. Oak grass is especially difficult, and that's the herb we need the most. Can't search of legends about the god bird, Empyra. But no one, I've, but no one I've spoken to so far has even heard of her. I need a drink. <laughs> have I seen a big black dog? Not that I recall. No, there have been a lot of rumors lately about a big pack of wolves in a prowl, though. But I suppose if you're looking for a dog, a wolf won't do. Sorry. This is what you get for not knowing information. <laughs> Happy Christmas to one and all. It, it's all Necky Claws. Oh, Santa Claus. They don't sell weapons here until nightfall. Sounds like a bit fishy. Yeah, I bet it means they have a few special weapons under the counter, if you know what I mean. Does that mean sex toy? <laughs> Is that supposed to mean sex toys? What? Okay. Old Saint Necky. A uh, velvet cape. Um. All right. Dragon shield. All right. <clears throat> That'd be a good one to get. Uh. It'd be a good one to get Yangus, since Yangus can't equip one of the magic shields. Maybe one of the only things we really buy here. We'll see. Let's see what else he got. Iron headgear. Well, I mean that would be a boost for for Yangus, but without with how much HP we have, I don't know if I really need that much. Um, how much is that costing anyway? Five grand. Yangus and his and his brother Wangus. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> An Idrisal leaf. Oh, uh, we got some strong medicines. We can sell those. Special antidote. Maybe I should hold on to that in case. I have no use for this posh waistcoat, but it feels like a shame to, to sell it, but it's literally just not very good armor. It was a, a, a one of the metal rewards. Sand of Serenity? What is that even for? Side quest, maybe? Probably. Stone hard hat.
Yay, I'm glad that your power is back, and hopefully you can be nice and warm now, Neki. Yeah, that storm... It wasn't as... It wasn't really so bad here where I live, but in other places, like, for example, where you live, it, it seems like it was much worse. Well, that'd be a good thing to buy for for Yengus too, but that's very expensive. I guess if we really want to, we could probably go grind on gold golems or something. Because the, the enemies there are much less threatening now than they probably were. Shimmers and Spangles. As the name implies, the shimmering dress is enveloped in a glowing aura of sacred light. Upon making one of these glittering items for yourself, you would do well to gather light related items first. A jewel and a bracer, huh? Since I don't know what weapons are being sold here, but I can imagine there's like at least one, one or two upgrades that I would want. Let's make sure we can actually zoom back here, though. Orkutsk. We can fly back to Marta's cottage at least. Uh, let's see. Neos. Oh, wow. That was. That's lucky. <laughs> yeah, we were a lot stronger than we once were, so this should be a lot easier. Yeah, I would say so. Well, let's hope we find more battles like that, because goddamn. You're gonna outrun Angelo? Whatever. Now, historically, these birds have been like the worst things in the fucking world to fight, but. Yeah, we're, we're a little stronger now. These enemies are like nothing. <laughs> so I'm just hoping to find some gold golems sprinkled in the mix to get more money. Totally understand that, Neki. I'm destroying all the burbs with extreme prejudice. Mostly because they don't give me very good stuff when I kill them. Like very not very good XP or money.
I'm just trying to kill gold golems, and I'm not finding very many other than this first, like, group of three. We curb stomp these enemies. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of dudes. Angelo is very powerful now with his bow. This place has become a pretty good grinding spot now, actually. Well, I guess when we get more enemies than, like, this. dudes. Ugh, burbs. Scanners here are much easier than they used to be. They sometimes don't even get to move. Oh god, so many of them. That's okay, because Shining Shot hits all enemies, so they, they they don't even get a chance to do anything when the when I when I go with this. Ooh, DQ treasures, huh? I haven't gotten that for myself yet, because I want to finish this game first before I even get it. Hopefully you get hopefully you get it and it's fun and then you enjoy it. You can tell me about it. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get it at the very least, uh, like ten up to ten grand. Cause I think I might have some money saved up somewhere as well. So I can buy the uh, dragon armor for Yangus. Never mind, they're dead. <laughs> Furry's destroyed.
gosh, that that move is so strong. So busted. Oh, that's cute. Now, ordinarily, that'd be annoying, but uh, Shining Shot can just one-shot these anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It seems the light element in this game is pretty rarely resisted. Okay, 46 MP left, so it's like four more fights of doing that. We could probably uh, just not do that for this fight, because it seems like it's a little... Uh... Oh, you got to move, that's annoying. How is everyone moving before Angelo? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Strong medicine. Okay, that's a little bit more money as well. Okay, now that I have three more shots of, uh, mult of, uh, Shining Shot. A little slower of a fight, but that's okay. Oh, hello. That, that's who I've been looking for. The Shining Shell will just kill all of them. Well, it'll kill the golems, but they won't kill the, 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 the 
fox things, because I think they're resistant to light. The golems are not, the oh, that one didn't die. Okay, now it's dead. Now they're all dead. Still a much faster way of getting money than whatever else we got going on. Goals of Texas finding like one, one fight with a, a gold golem to make it worth it. Despite how uncommon they are. Alright, now I need to heal my MP. So while we do that, we're also going to uh, figure out... Um... Oh, that's just a spell I have to um, keep enemies away from us. We're going to go to pick him and see if I can figure out the casino there. Because I think that casino can sell... Uh, can give us agility rings, which would be really nice to have. For everyone, honestly, if I could get in, get them. Oh, hello, pupper. All right, we have calmed down. We're in like mega grind mode, so we kind of we've kind of relaxed ourselves a little. Where's the inn? Further back this way. I'm expecting it to be a pretty cheap inn because this is pretty early in the game. The only reason I'm coming to this inn is because I was, I, have to, I wanted to come here and check out the casino anyway. And if I unfortunately spend all my money here on casino stuff to get an agility ring, I think that'd still be worth it. Because then I'd let Angelo move even faster and um, kill everything even faster. So I think that would make our money grinding even easier. So let's... I think it's the uh, bar. or one of the, It's one of the bars. Is it this one? Let's find out, I guess. I can't imagine it's back here, but we'll check this out anyway. happen to be an alchemy pie that's still sitting in your wagon now, would it? I knew it. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever laid eyes on one. Sorry for selling off your horse like that. How'd you like to make a little dough, eh? This ain't your usual shop. I buy stuff off people and sell it to others, like. Every now and then I got me mitts and some rare stuff. Or I know it, I've had a reputation to uphold. When I hear about something the customer wants, I'll give you an order and you can cook up for me in your pot. Dude's pretty ripped, yeah. Okay, so this dude buys alchemy stuff from us. Interesting. Not what I was looking for, but interesting. I think that means the little uh, casino I'm looking for is. Might be the one upstairs then. Uh, like over here. Maybe? Hmm. I must be miss. I must be just missing it entirely at this point. Maybe it's upstairs from the inn? Uh. Oh, 
There's some dude sleeping there. Or it could be this thing that says fucking casino on it. That might, you know, that might be it. Let me in. <laughs> Look at that little heel slime. Aren't they the best? So a thousand tokens for an agility ring. Can I just buy tokens? I don't like, I have that much money. So we might have to actually play some casino. If we want anything from here. It's a bingo game, would you like to play? Sure, let's, let's gamble. pull five balls so there's almost no way we can win now oh wait no is there more balls huh I guess there's ten we just need a two when we win I see the multiplier goes down as more balls are pulled. That's a one. We just need a two and a five. That is neither. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm glad I only spent five tokens on this. You know, we'll do another five, because we actually got pretty close, it felt like. So the sooner you win, the higher your multiplier is. So you could probably just get really lucky and just win immediately, and then just get a ton of tokens for doing basically no work. Like 11 and 13, and we get a lot of tokens for doing no work. not it, but that's actually a step closer to a win. Stop teasing me, little heel slime. <laughs> Heel slime, no, not like this. I've got a family to feed. No! <laughs> it was looking so promising, too. <laughs> you little shit. Let's try a slot machine. Slot machine. Ah, oh, piss. Gambling. I 
I feel like a boomer now. I'm just sitting in front of this slot machine staring at it. Ah, oh, piss. Admittedly, I've had these tokens for seemingly forever, so it's not really a loss if I lose all these trying to get more. I mean, it is, but I'm just trying to make myself feel better about it. Ah, oh, come on, that was really close. I'll tell you when I've had enough. <laughs> oh, no. It's rigged. No, not like that. Brood. Buy another 50, okay? Ugh. I kind of want to try the bingo again. It's because it's kind of fun watching this little guy go down and pick up balls. Alright, that one's a fucky. That's, that one's no good. That one's... Oh, that's okay. That's all right, I guess. Eh, that one's not great. I've got a feeling we're not winning this one either. Yeah, we're not winning this one. Not and not not a chance in hell. <laughs> nope, we lost. I can really be a boomer and just stare at stare at the table. <laughs> That's not as fun though. I like watching this little goofy heel slam on their goofy hat. Go down and grab the balls manually. I'm gonna drink my coffee while this little goober is doing this. Eleven fourteen are our best chances of winning right now. Oh, there's fourteen. Chance! Uh-oh. Wait, what happened to your eye? Oh, we won! <laughs> we finally won! We won! I only paid five tokens for that. Absolutely. Here. That's how they get you. They let you win one and then 
I'm gonna piss away the rest of these tokens. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> The, the evil, the, the, the biggest villain in Dragon Quest is not Duel Magus, it's gambling. <laughs> 21 and 4, kind of what we're looking for. Not 1, that's not what we're looking for. That's not either. Yeah, we're, prob we're probably not winning this one. I've got a feeling if you um, get four in a row, you have a pretty good chance of actually winning. It seems like maybe it like, slants it in your favor in that case. Fine by me. I'll take anything I can. I'll take what I, whatever I can get. Oh, chance. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we win now. Is it going to be 15? It is! Okay. So it does seem like if you have four in a row, it lets you win. That's probably the most, like, fair casino ever, actually. <laughs> it's like, hmm, you look like you might win. Let's just help you with that. <laughs> I'm more than happy just to bet five, because if we, if we get a big multiplier, then that's just a lot of free tokens. That I don't have to spin the GP on. I should have just been playing this instead of the slot machines, because slot machines suck. Like the casino, the casino in uh, DQ11 is really generous compared to um, slot wise. is very generous compared to these ones. And in this one, the bingo seems really generous. So we're gonna probably just go bingo if we're trying to get anything out of here. The alternative is uh, more grinding, which is it's fine. We need to do that anyway, but yeah, this one might not be a win unless we get a 12 or a 13. Oh, or that. Does that mean we're gonna win? Is it gonna be 18? No. Okay, so it's not always, but maybe there's just like a higher chance of you winning if you get chance there. The last two ones I did, did actually win though, so that's why I was like, hmm, maybe that's how it actually works, but maybe it's just a, <clears throat> maybe it's just a higher chance of winning. Slimes are are the best. Like the aesthetics are on point. We're just doing a, a bit of a gambling diversion because I want I want an agility ring, and there's this is only the only sensible way to really get it is just gamble and get more tokens. Unfortunately, because tokens are really expensive, and I would need like twenty. I would need like 20,000 gold to afford one agility ring by just buying the tokens straight up. Which I mean, I could grind for that, but this is kind of fun to do this instead. Oh, am I going to win now because I got chance? Is it going to be 12? Nope. Oh, wait, we're double chanced, so 12 or 24 and we, we get our, at least some of our tokens back. Ah, oh, you little shit. And he's like, ha ha ha. Just kidding, you don't get to win. <laughs> this is like only five tokens. We want we won a hundred times multiplier bingo previously, which is why we have as many as we do. Just gotta roll the dice enough times and you'll win. It's just odds, I guess. 21. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some way to manipulate this for speedrunning purposes. So you can like get a bunch of agility rings for uh, just outrunning enemies. Oh, 
Let's say 24 and 22 or 18 and 6, and we can get some more tokens back. Or we can just get n none of those <laughs> and lose. Oh, there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Come on, just give me 22, please. Be humble. That's not 22. Come. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, piss. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Admittedly, that saves us a lot of money in buying an agility ring, because I, I just want an agility ring for right now, so what we could do is, um... We can, well, we're gonna gamble with the bingo game until we're down to 500, because it's like half the cost of an agility ring. And if we get down to 500 without winning again, then we'll just go grind some money. But this is just kind of like a fun little thing to see, to just kind of do, other than just killing monsters over and over again. Because the agility rings are legitimately just good to have. It's just kind of annoying how... I'm sure there's a recipe for them in the alchemy pot. But getting the stuff for that's probably more annoying than it's worth. Alright, so we got 2, 4, or 19, and 24. I get the very least if you get, if you bet 5 coins, you always have a chance of at least making more than you spend. So I don't really mind just doing 5 at a time, because it's safe. Which some may say is boring. Which may be so, but I'm trying to actually, like, win maybe okay we can't we can't win now because there's not enough balls left all right you win you little shit it's also really fast to just kind of get back in with doing five tokens you just press X and X and then you're, you're off to the races <laughs> Oh, it looks like 22 and 6 and 5 would be a good place to go. 15. I mean, that opens up another another avenue to win. 8. That's completely worthless. I'm looking at a guide now to see if there's any, like, tr tricks to, like, kind of... Oh, we got a chance! So you're telling me there's a chance. So it needs to be 23 or we get nothing back. It is not 23. Rip. So what, essentially what this guy is saying is like save your game and then like bet like really big and if you don't win then just reset which that might be what we do whatever dude you just like blocking the fucking road we gotta go like the, the other way around Basically, do something like that in 11, yeah. It's, it's a sound strategy, because you can just, like, go back in time if you lose, you know, so. 
I think we will try that. I will try doing like a few bets of 50, because if we win like once with that, we basically just win all the tokens we probably need anyway. I'm also going to just quickly try to look up, uh... Let's see. I just, I'm looking at this game FQ board, and it's like, DQ8 had an open world and fewer glitches in 2004 than Pokemon Scarlet Violet. <laughs> Admittedly, this game probably wasn't made but with crunch, so, I mean, that's kind of a, a little bit of a difference, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, stop yelling at me, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to church. I have a feeling that um, the Baccarat Casino is post-game, since the one of the one of the the sages of what you call them, is uh, was the the person that ran the casino. So yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. So we we'll probably have to just rely on uh, Pickham Casino. Which is fine. I'll do, I'll make deal. All right. Let's see if we win. If we win anything at all, that's super worth our time. And if we don't, then we'll just like reset after we run out of tokens or whatever. Get, game's gonna screw me over, I have a feeling. Unless we can get um, 7 and 22 specifically. Yeah, we're probably. Uh, 19 and 23 would also work. But it's pretty unlikely we're gonna get any of. The, yeah, we, we lose. Better luck next time. Let's see. the seed of magic can actually make a prayer ring which can use the to then make an agility ring as well but we'll, we'll gamble some more too because <laughs> gambling's fun uh, this was <laughs> this is PS2 
There's also there's also, there's also a kind of a like remaster-ish kind of one on um, 3DS as well, but I'm playing the one the version on PS2. And we are we are gaming. We got two spots where two is gonna. F Actually, I have three spots where two would get us a win. Unfortunately, it's gonna give us everything but what we need. Pro gaming, yep. M MLG gambling. Now there's still a chance. There's multiple spots where two two spots will get us a uh, win. Well, now there's more multiple spots, but it's probably gonna be none of them at all. Oh well. It's a chance! Just give us 21, please! Please! No! <laughs> no, you bastard! <laughs> Don't look at me so smugly, you little shit. If we run out of tokens, we're just gonna reset, because, yeah. You can do that on console, too. It's not really cheating if I do that when I'm emulating, because you can just reset your console, or reset the game, or whatever, so. We're gonna use, um, every advantage we have. That 400 multiplier would be ridiculous to get something on. Like, absolutely silly. Okay, there's multiple spots where two fill-ins will get us. 16 will actually fulfill two of those. 18 does not. No, please. The new eSport, Gambling in Dragon Quest VIII. <laughs> Competitive Dragon Quest VIII. <laughs> Gambling. Ah, oh, you bastard. Yeah, we lost this one. Little slime, be humble. Sometimes you just get lucky and roll a big win that you really shouldn't get. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. The other alternative is just to brute force the tokens with grinding money, and I don't really want to do that because that's boring. Ooh, 12. Come on. You know you want to. No, that's not 12. We got like three more chances for 12. Come on. Be humble, please. No. Don't do this to me. I'm staring at 12. No. My life savings. <laughs> no. You fucker. <laughs> Just that shit eating grins like, I'm taking all your tokens, bitch. You know what, no, just take the rest of my tokens. Oh, you can only bid up to 100? Fine. Let's go. <laughs> well, now if I went even at the very lowest multiplier, I, still, I get all my tokens back and then some. So maybe I should just have been doing 100 the entire time. And then if I win, run and save and all that, you know. <laughs> That's not a good ball, little friend. That's an alright ball, I guess. 
But we're quickly running out of balls. That's not a good one. I could think of, I could think of worse ones, but that one's not very good. That's a bat that's that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna ta taunt me, aren't you? You are, you, you did. Four in a row, you asshole. <laughs> I guess the good thing is if I, well, I'm betting 100, if I, if I do get one win, even if that's at, like the lowest multiplier, I get all my tokens back anyway. That I would be using. So there's no really, there's not any reason to not do that. I guess. Kind of lucked out in winning when we did to get a good bit of, like, good, uh, initial bit of tokens to gamble. <laughs> See, I don't know the odds for getting five in a row, but, like, that's, like, ten out of twenty-five. Like, that's how many chances you get. I don't, I don't know the odds, and I don't want to think about the odds. I just want to win. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You have my attention, little man. Just give me a 10. That's not a 10. Just give me a 10, and I'll, and I'll call a truce. That's not a 10! No, no! You're gonna put uh, every ball except ten. No, you got me ten! Yes! You little shit. <laughs> it's like the the last one's like, oh fine, I guess I'll let you win. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I just need to win like one more. Oh now. Motherfucker, you know what you're doing. This is all just a game to you, isn't it? It's all just a. S this is how gambling addiction begins. <laughs> Jokes on you. I'm not. I'm not. That's not how it begins. I'm already addicted. I just don't play gambling because I know how fucked it can make your brain. But I need an agility ring. <laughs> I'm a, lo I'm a I'm a long time avid RuneScape player. I I am no stranger to addiction. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done. We have five thousand tokens. We can buy. Mm. <laughs> That's <was> amazing. <laughs> See? Addiction solves your problem. <laughs> I love the excitement. It is it is very um, tempting to just Well, I was originally going to get just one agility ring, but we're but I'm going to look up and see if we can make like a uh, a meteorite bracelet cuz I think that takes maybe two agility rings. Let's see. Oh, it takes two agility rings and an aura chalcum. Which I have no idea where we get the aura chalcum. Where do we get that? That's probably gonna spoil me a little bit, but you know, whatever. Okay. So yeah, we're not gonna be getting a, uh, a meteorite bracelet bracer anytime soon. Unless we find like 83 mini medals and get one early. Otherwise, like, yeah, that's good. That's gonna be a tall, tall order. However, we are gonna buy two of them.
And then when I and then when I can And then when I can make one, I will get Now we're gonna save and I might gamble a little bit more because that rune staff might be good to have for Jessica because it's a much better staff, but I don't know if it's actually better better. Because the newer Dragon Quest, like a lot of weapons and stuff can even be like magical might and stuff, but this just gives Jessica like... I mean that's not bad, but... I don't know if that's worth the tokens that I could just save for another time. I might buy a third agility ring. Yeah, we're gonna buy a third one. That'll still save us. That'll still let us uh, have um, 2,500 tokens for another day if we need to gamble some more. Because now we have a strategy, which is basically um, have a lot of tokens and just gamble a lot at once, <laughs> and hopefully it works. So you're gonna you're gonna not have that anymore. I could technically get four agility rings. I probably should actually, because speed is, as you can see, two, at least two of my characters already had bunny tails, which gave more agility. So yeah, we're gonna just be fast. Yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna get another one. Considering I won five thousand tokens all at once, and we'll still have like. We'll still have a that we'll still have like triple the amount that we had previously. Yeah, that, that's a no-brainer. I'm just doing some equi uh, some inventory management. For my own sanity's sake. Okay, so... Alright, so now I can get rid of the, uh, the bunny tail from you. Agility rings for everyone! It's actually super productive. It's like 15. It's less agility than in, in the other, in newer Dragon Quest, but that's still gonna be nice for outspeeding more enemies. Especially for Yangus, because he's so slow and ordinarily. Now he's gonna outspeed, it, outspeed a lot more things than he normally would be able to. And apparently, in I think post game or wherever you can go to the Baccarat Casino, that one's even better than this place. But still, that's not a bad strategy of just playing the bingo. It's a lot better odds than slot machines. It feels like. All right. Well, <laughs> that was fun. And now I can go back to grinding money for the dragon armor that I actually do want to get from. To get with the uh, Yangus there. Let's save first. And then we'll fly back to uh, Neos and um, kill more stuff to get to, to like around 10 or like 12 or 13,000. Because there's probably new weapons in the, uh, the new place too. I, I haven't really looked up any of the, like the shop uh, lists or anything like that. Uh, no. See, gambling is can serve the greater good. It's helping us save the world, you know? So, I mean, that means it's good, right? <laughs> oh, I just like convincing myself that I didn't waste a bunch of time. Which, frankly, I didn't because I got the agility rings I wanted. Now, if I would have, like, spent the rest of the stream gambling and got nothing, then, yeah, I would, uh, <clears throat> probably feel a little worse about it. But we, we struck pay dirt right there. We got a times 50. 
Now imagine if I got a times 400. That would have been like enough casino tokens for the rest of my life. A little unnecessary, but yeah, whatever. All right, Neos, let's go. Elemental hero Neos. Go. Ugh. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, come on, give me gold golems! You're not gold golems! I bet everyone outruns all these things now. Or if, it, or if not, at least Angelo does. So this is, this is gonna be our grinding spot of choice now. Not horrible XP, and we're, we're here for the money. Cause gold golems show up, we get like 700 GP a piece. Oh, these things used to suck real bad. Like they used to be able to out, like, outrun us and do like party wide stuff. It's not fun. But I got a feeling that's not gonna be a problem anymore. No, it's not a problem anymore. Not in the slightest. Nice pants, though. I can take more time to appreciate their pants now that they're not, like, killing me. Immediately. Oh, well, they're just dead. All right. Yeah, Angelo's a little strong. <laughs> Bows are very good, and boomerangs are very good. Oh, these guys suck, but I think we're faster than they are now, so we can probably just kind of get away with bullying them with stuff like this and the boomerang. And Maybe even have Angelo get some MP back for more, uh... Oh, never mind. That's okay. Feels good, now that I don't have to worry about these guys being a party wipe anymore. Oh, hello! Case in point, this one gold golem. It's like 700 gold. Or so. 726. Cannot understate cannot understand how massive it is that those live here. It's annoying that they're pretty rare, but that's fine. We could just chew through a bunch of enemies enemies to make up for it. It'll get us XP anyway. Wow, double gold golem! Double kill! Easy, yeah. We, we now just outspeed everything here, like, every time, so... That's gonna make this gold farming bit even better. <laughs> There's more, another gold golem. Alright. Yeah, the little foxes might need slightly softened up because they, they somewhat resist the uh, light sh uh, shining shot. Not enough though.
This might be one of the faster ways to get gold in the, in the game. And DQ9, you can actually use alchemy, alchemy to make ridiculous amounts of money. Yeah, that's really cool and very useful. It's all enemies, it costs 10 MP, and it does a lot of damage. You can't really ask for much more than that, other than it costing less MP, I guess, but... Angel has a good amount. Like, an, an encounter like this before I had this move would have been awful. But this should, like, one-shot almost everything on the, on the field here. Like, let's see. Pew! Yep, they're all dead. <laughs> These birds stand no chance. Oh, wow. Either that's a speed tie, or they just are a lot faster. Agility does weird shit in Dragon Quest games. Sometimes, like, even if you have a lot higher agility than some enemies, they move before you anyway. It's just really weird. Like, I imagine there's, like, a base stat, like, level that enemies have, and then, like, some enemies can just have more than that sometimes, maybe? I don't know. It's always felt that way in Dragon Quest. Like, some enemies, like, have, like, more HP or less HP than others of the same kind. I don't know. It's just uh, one of those weird things. Well, that's a bit of a waste of MP, oh well. That's fine, I just don't want to get attacked by those. Oh, we're at 10.9k. This is pretty effortless at this point. Like, we can just kind of mow them down with, like, kind of just a combination of whatever we want at this point, because we're just, we're just too fast. And I can take this opportunity to try to get some more MP back. As long as Angelo can move fast enough, because we're, we're all in a hurry just to kill all these fucking foxes. <laughs> Oh, it survived. Never mind. <laughs> Big boy Yangus is also a bit faster because he also every just everyone has an agility ring. You get a ring. You get a ring. Oh, burbs. All right, never mind. They're dead. I haven't had a level up in a long time. I, I wonder how close some of the people are. Oh, hello! Yangus, how in the hell are you outrunning the two fastest people in the party? You know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. 
because they're all they're, they're both dead. <laughs> 1,400 more gold. How much do we have now? 1,276. All right. Let's go to uh, Princess Minnie's castle. Because there's a, there's a gold bank there that I think we still have some gold stored at. And if we don't, then whatever. We'll figure out how much we need and we'll come back. A cool thing, this, uh, this, uh, little slime here. My brother works in a casino in a town called Pickham. That little bastard that was stealing all of our tokens was this slime's brother. <laughs> he's a dealer in a bingo game. At least I think that's what he said. Anyway, he's got a really good job there, and he's my brother. I mean, you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to do, work really hard to be better than him. He gave, he got us a lot of tokens. <laughs> Hello, Princess Minnie, Princess of Metals. I'm Minnie, Princess of Metals. You know, the mini ones. <laughs> She's Minnie and she she wants the mini medals. Brings a total you brought to 46. Staff of Divine Wrath. Oh, perfect. And there, you two one shop and sell you a gold nugget. Nugget! Launches an enormous whirlwind at an enemy when used as an item in battle. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Not only it's a better staff, but it actually has a better spell on it attached to it too. It's been ages since I got a new staff for Jessica because they're either really hard to find or I have to make them with alchemy. And no, we're not dealing with that. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, you got any money in here for me, uh, little man? Fifty bucks, little. Oh, we had, we have some money. Well. Uh, yeah, just give me all of it. I think I was doing some grinding or something. I think after I was doing the metal slime grinding is when I, like, banked money or something like that. So I guess that explains, uh, that. Alright, back to, uh, Urkutsk. So we can buy that dragon armor for Yangus. Which is gonna just make him even more of a tank than he already is. Cause he just has like a, a ton of HP. Well that's indecipherable, so let's we're not gonna be able to do anything with that. Uh All right, and it's daytime, so this person sells the armor. See, I, I would get that, but that removes the the silver mail that Angela has, which reduces spell damage, which is more important to me than physical damage most of the time. But since uh, Yangus can't equip that armor, we're gonna give him this. Let's go ahead and sell the uh, this heavy armor that we had. All right, and there shouldn't there sh I don't think there's anything else I really want to buy necessarily. Like again, we have a magic shield on hero, so yeah. We could get that, I guess, but. I I would like to see what the weapon store has in store in store <laughs> for us. Okay, that's the bar. I kind of need the inn, actually. So it, it probably it's probably this way anyway. This place is like just a a big octagon or whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon. Hexagon, that's what it is. That's the word. I know my shapes. <laughs> oh, damn it. I meant to, to stay till night. So I can go to the weapon store and buy their 
scandalous weapons. It's probably just because, like, um, they don't have space for both stores to be in the same place at the same time. Even though a lot of other shops do that. Maybe just weapon, weapon selling is taboo to these people here. Kind of like the Dorgashun goblins in RuneScape. They abhor violence, but there's a little weapon salesman outside their town, their city. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Oh, that's what you already have. Okay, I'm starting to be a little less impressed. Um, no, I'm impressed. Okay. Oh, uh, we're just shy, but I think I have some other stuff I can probably sell. Like this! Oh, we're just short there. I think we have some other, like, herbs or whatever we can sell. Let's see. I don't want to sell this stuff if I can afford it. Afford to. Um... Hmm. Let's sell one of these. I have like two of them. And I've not used a single one of them. And that'd be a nice boost to attack for Yangus. Worth it. Alright, well. Cool and good. And we have just enough to sleep at the end, too. So we can sleep till morning. And then we'll be completely bankrupt. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find some enemies to kill or something. That'll get us some money back. Oh no, you're in the way, doggo, huh? Alright, cool. Good talk. What's up, thin pasty man? I did see a dog come inside not long ago. I can't remember if it was black or not, but it may well have been- Oh, god damn it. Dog Magus is here. <laughs> or Dogthorn, or how- wh whichever you prefer to call this new incarnation of Rapthorn. Cause apparently Dolmagus was just a puppet like Jessica was. So, which means Dolmagus them themselves may not have actually been evil, just kind of like got corrupted or whatever. You know, you know how it goes when you get possessed by an evil the, the Dark Lord. <laughs> Sometimes you're just not really feeling like yourself. You need a Snickers. You're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> Maybe Dual, maybe Dual Magus just needed a Snickers. Well, with, with four with four gold coins to our name, let's save. <laughs> we got all the upgrades I was looking to get, though. We got four agility rings, which I was expecting to only get one. So we have four agility rings and some armor. As a Lord of Chaos, I don't possess people. That's just a rude thing to do. Right? It, it, it deprives them of their personhood. That's not really, that's not very cool. Like, I don't care if you're dis a disembodied Lord of Darkness. You don't just do that to people. <laughs> I'm going to, I could have went backwards to get outside. Cause I'm, I'm going to assume that... The herbalist guy that we need to talk to is out the door where the pub is, in like the center or something. That seems where an important quest pe person would be at in this town. Hello child, have you seen a big black dog? I mean, it's snowman, it's really cool, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee. Kind of mid. <laughs> I just... I'm just bullying this child's fucking snowman. It's kind of mid, actually. You could give it, a, you could give it a, a third layer and make it much better. Oh, it's a hat. I was like, damn, your hair is kind of interesting. But no, that's just a, that's a hat. At least I think it's a hat. 
Yeah, I think it's a hat. Hey, give it a rest. You're too big. You'll break the ice and spill everyone's fun. No! I want to have fun! Look at how much fun I'm having! Well, it's not really a snowman, but it's kind of mid... I mean, it's got a slime kind of head. I'd say that's a little bit... This one sucks, too. <laughs> oh, you know what's not mid? Property damage. Ooh, another mini metal. One step closer to the metal. And I'm about to break. <laughs> I left this even it isn't even the dude's house, and I'm just like in here. Do I know a man named Mer Merrick? Well, yes, of course. He's the herb doctor here, and he lives in a room I rent out to him. Go downstairs in my house and keep taking rights along the underground passage, you will come to the corridor at least to his room. I don't know what relation you are to him, but no doubt he'd be very pleased to have some visitors. <clears throat> come to think of it, I haven't seen Merrick recently. I hope he's not come down with something. Ugh. Oh no, he's probably dead. Damn dog got to him. Hello, hello, maid girl. I'm s forgive me for what I must do. That's not a town lead. The wolves around here are really scary. Once they spot their prey, they never let it go. It won't catch me going outside. It's a book of exploring Orkutsk. In fact, Orkutsk couldn't be an easier town to explore. Once inside, now the better cold just head left or right. Where are the staircases, however? The complex warrant of underground passages meet the town are sure to flummox the casual tourist. Oh boy, that means that's where we're gonna be going after we find out that this dog is like kid kidnapped this dude at like staff point. Do I know about a big black dog? As a matter of fact, I do. I was in Arcadia once, and the sorcerer Domenico had one as a pet. Oh dear, it's a runaway, hasn't it? And you have the job of trying to find it? Well, I can't imagine that'll be easy. Ah, so that's where this leads. Interesting. You stealing shit? Me too. <laughs> it's mine! The herb doctor Merrick is quite a tough one, but he's nothing compared to that old woman. Marta's her name, you know her? She lives all on her own in a mountain hut near the border tunnel. I stopped by her place once when I was out in the mountains. Her nook grass tea did me the world good. I thought I was just assuming that guy was there to steal shit. I was like, yeah, me too. They <laughs> got me a rock bomb shard. Merrick yes and Omo. He often gives us herbs to sell in our shop. Oh, you want to know where he is? Hmm, try asking my husband. He may have an idea. I mean, there's only like one door I haven't gone down. Oh, okay, it's this. It's this shop. Well, how unfortunate for you. <laughs> Ooh, sweet. All right, what do you got to say? You need to find Merrick. If you can't find him in his room, he's probably at the herb garden again. He grows herbs in the cave to the northwest. Tending them takes up a lot of his time. Must be very tough going all the way out in the cold so often. Oh, what a lad. Well, let's go check his room, because I'm almost certain that... Like, this way is probably his room. Or maybe not. Maybe there's just more freaking rooms.
Erickson was straight along this corridor. He turned up here several years ago now, and the mayor turned one of his rooms out to him. I wonder where he lived before he came here. He never talks about it. Oh, this is where that dude sleeps. The, uh, weaponsmith dude. Wonder if they're related. Or maybe they're gay. Ooh, gay. Ooh. Gay. An egg, an egged boomerang. Boomerang. That man over there seems to have gotten the wrong idea. The armor shop and the weapon shop shared these premises. Gay, my favorite. So one's open during the day and one's open at night. That's all there is to it. What's fishy about that? Well, you see, Mr. Bullcut, sometimes people sell um, adult-related products at night because the authorities tend to be uh, asleep at night. That chest was full of gay. We got this. We got to go to this dude's room. And it's gonna be like ransacked. Well, it's not ransacked before. It is now because. I got here. <laughs> Ooh, magic water. I still don't think I found a place to buy that yet. Other than with casino tokens. Well, of course he's not fucking here. He's at the cave. Cultivating medicinal herbs. It isn't easy to cultivate medicinal herbs to bargain with, but raising the more uncommon varieties poses a special challenge. They are all but impossible to grow in places with poor soil quality, such as the cold regions of the world. Indeed, actually cultivating medicinal herbs in such an environment would be nothing short of miraculous. Whoa! Anyway. Mold research, my life's work. The cultivation of premium mold requires the combination of an item capable of resurrecting fallen comrades with two types of mold. The only item currently known to fit the requirement is the Idris leaf. I am not using a fucking Idris leaf to make cheese. You gotta be out of your goddamn mind. We literally have like one Yggdrasil leaf that we got from this little girl that was selling them in town. During like the, the Argonian like festival or whatever. Alright, nor Northwest Cave it is! Let's hurry up and go, I guess. Can't be bothered to get out of this fucking town. <laughs> so we will zoom to this town, even though we're already here. Might help if we're uh, not stuck on the hill. Dead ringers! Oh, ice spells! Okay, that's swoosh. Hey, free swoosh ain't half bad. Oh god damn it, they literally re replaced all the ones that died. <laughs> god damn bells.
A staff of divine wrath's actually pretty nice to get. Oh, there's a level up I was talking about earlier. I was like, I haven't seen a level up in quite some time. 20 HP. God damn, Yangus. Thick ass boy. Mr. Thickman. Dr. Thickman. I presume. God, it's such a good fucking skill. How are y'all bells so fast? Fine, call all your fucking friends. Oh no! Well that's annoying. Oh no, yeah, we're probably gonna just not fight these anymore, if we can avoid it, because these are obnoxious. I mean, they're dead. But yeah, that was not worth our time, for the possibility of just getting some characters just wiped out for no good reason. Oh, I see you up there, chest. I'll come back, I'll come back for you later. Yeah, they're like, they're like, time to die! Ringle dingle dingle do. Oh, this is a dungeon. All right. Well, I was expect, wasn't expected to be a dungeon, but all right. Freeze flies. Rude. All right, let's try that again. There you go. That's a proper turn order. Fuckers. Oh wow, that's a that's a big jump in XP from compared to outside. Seven skill points. Once it, once they max up boomerang, we're probably gonna put the rest in the courage because I think that's like some pretty good stuff in there, or so I've heard. There's an icicle! Go blimey! There's some some herbs.
Killing machine. Beep boop. Let's see if they can stand up to the might of Shining Shot. Kind of. But not enough. Hey, the XP here is pretty good. And the enemies aren't that bad, really. 100 gold coins? Well, that was a waste of time. I literally got more than that from the fight that I just won. <laughs> Woo, slip ice physics. What? <laughs> what? What they say? Bananas text me. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Text me! <clears throat> yeah, close captions can have some funny but unfortunate, um, like, understanding. Because, like, it's meant to be, like, you know, for people that need them. Which is why I have it, but sometimes it's just hilarious but just very inadequate. Elfin oh, Elixir. That's a nice find. I'm glad I have the key for that. That's, a, that's pretty mid there, Mr. Killing Machine. If my, if my levels were lower and we had a lot of less HP, maybe that would have been a pain. But we're fine. It's probably the way to go. There might be a chest around here somewhere. Uh. Ooh. Maybe? Or that's the way to go down, so let's go over that way first instead. <clears throat> the enemies aren't exactly threatening here. I mean they are, but they're 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 manageable at least. Jars? A place like this? Alright, boom would have been better for less MP. I should have suspected these would be resistant to ice. Ooh, Angela's le levels up to 33. 14 HP. Nice. Six skill points. More bows. Ah, no, he's finally reached that, um... Probably just Charisma, because I'm not giving him another weapon. No, what? not a chance in hell. Angel's Charisma increases. He becomes a lady killer. Learn Squelch. <laughs> Alright. Interesting, uh, choice. Had to do the mini metal dance. <laughs> Close caption is like Manny, 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 Manny. <laughs> oh, that, I wish it was better. 
than what it is. What's down here? Is this the way down too, or is this a different way down? I don't have a map, so I can't really tell. So I guess we're gonna just go this way. A hellhound! Ah woo! Ah woo! Hey, it's these claw dudes. I haven't seen them in a while. Sorry, Pepper. It's just business. It's also just a good good opportunity for Angel to get more MP back too, since Sarah's shot just takes a lot of MP. And he doesn't have an extra 100 MP like Jessica does. It's a little late for that, huh? <laughs> Whoops. They thought that was a lot of XP for one not like metal slime fight. Another mini metal. I think I talk a little fast. That might be why closed captions is a little just a little fucked up. But is this the same ice area as earlier, or is this a different one? I, I, I'm guessing it's not the same one, because that happened. Crackle Slash. Oh, you get to attack twice, don't you? Well... Well, there's the Hellhounds taken care of. That is slightly uninspiring damage for me, Angus, with that move. A lot of free chances for MP though, which I will happily take. Is he full MP now or something? Probably not. He's probably got a, a bad roll. Eh, yeah, he's, he's getting better. He's getting MP back, but yeah, I think that was just a bad roll. Ah, uh, I see. To get over there, I have to probably try to pass through there and I get like, um, now I can push this. No, I can't push it, so we gotta go around the other way. Probably have another thing fall down there and then we can go across. Maybe. Puppies! That's a lot of that's a lot of puppers. I think they're dead. Alright, not all dead. Oh, they got one left. Never mind. <laughs> nice, level up. Ooh, good amount of HP for a mage. Sex appeal increases. She becomes a pretty lady. Becomes a pretty lady? 
Well, that's... <laughs> God damn, that's brutal. That's rude. Earns the hip drop. Helen drops the treasure chest. Oh, boy. I guess it shouldn't be super surprised. About, um... The medicinal herb. This is a place where this dude grows... Er... Jeez. Calm down. I guess that's how we can get back across from going here. When it's time to leave. Or that's how we have to progress or something, I don't know. Well, that's gonna be a little annoying. Unless we just kill that one before it even gets to get reflect magic back. Works for me! Sometimes things just work out that way. Oh, well. That thing just got a just it's just got a hard on for Jessica. Get in line, buddy. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure a good like 75% of the Dragon Quest community also has a heart for Jessica. Uh, wait, does this lead to anywhere? Or is this. Oh, yeah, it, it totally does. Okay. Well, this sounds, place has an air of malice to it. Dog must have known where to find <laughs> frost burns. I like these. Li They're just fiery dudes. Oh no, that's gonna suck. I was hoping that would do more damage. Oh, that's obnoxious. Public punishment. Curvaceous hips equal big damage. I'm sure they do. Uh, let's see. Well, at least at least it wasted its turn doing that. All right. I'd say it's still worthy using a, a, a multi-heal anyway. If we have any, um, 
magic waters, we need to give at least one to each of our my casters. I mean, Angel can get his own MP back, but Jessica can't quite as quickly. Still give one to Angelo anyway, though. You know what, screw it, I'll give one to everyone. If we really need more magic water, we can get uh, more from the casino. It's probably gonna still count as a spell even if I'm not casting a spell. <clears throat> no, it doesn't count as a spell. Okay. That's useful to know. Like, Swoosh is definitely a spell, but using the staff like that does not count as casting a spell, so it gets around bounce. Nice! Like I need to do multiple passes of this w of that way to get more icicles to fall. Probably that's what it seems like. If, it, if there if, if there are any bananas out there, you need to call me. <laughs> I guess it makes me a bit of a pilf, huh? Or a, a pilf hunter, rather. Plant side, like the fuck. <laughs> oh no! Genghis, you're entwined! By plants, of all things! <laughs> this is a slippery slope, if I ever did see one. Back. I took a I took a really quick bathroom break while the the plant we were fighting the plant. Uh, still don't really need a uh, multi heal yet. 
Man, I'm suspecting we gotta pass through this place multiple times. Can I just do this? I can! Alright, well that saves a bit of time at least. Wish I would have known that, I would have did that initially. Oh, it's you! One of the various plants I'd like to find. Well, not note, I can just have um, her use Catechus on um, Yangus. I might not even need to heal. Damage. We got a bunch of MP back too. A pretty good encounter. Ooh, treasure! Don't say no to that. An icicle dirk. Like, unless, uh, unless DQ8's Dagger Tree is as expansive as um, DQ11's, I don't think it's worth our time to do anything with that. I was gonna say, I think the only thing that's gonna survive is this plant thing. And even it doesn't have much longer to live. Hopefully we're about out of this dungeon though, because it's getting close to time where I wanna stop so I can like do uh, stuff like shower and then go get groceries and lunch and stuff like that, like I normally do on Sundays. Um is this the wrong way? Somehow? Oh. I just assumed that we couldn't do anything over here because, well... <coughs> Is anybody there? Help me! I am too cold! I cannot move! <laughs> Help! Looks like you're moving to me, dude! Munchie! Go give him a kiss! Munchie time! Give him a kiss! Kiss his feet! He's, he's shivering uncontrollably and close to death. S kiss, smooch his ear! Look at those glazed over eyes! Mwah! 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 That should do it! All right, I'm guessing there's something else we gotta do. Good thing none of the monsters in this cave care about Munchie here. This is the Munchie content you all deserve. Do I have to go get one of his fancy little herbs from down here? Probably. Munchie roll! <laughs> Grease lightning here, huh? Uh, oh! Thank you for Munchie Cunt. <laughs> I got a feeling that we gotta go across this thingy now. The ice, the ice sickle was trying to kill us. But we have foiled its its clever plan of falling from the ceiling randomly. <laughs> it's it's a foolproof plan. There's no motive, it just kinda happened, and you know what? Sometimes that's just how things go, they just happen. 
I'm guessing that's what we do. We like. Oh, maybe we don't do that. Or maybe we can. They're down. I mean, now we're just done with Munchy time. That was very brief, but very well deserved Munchy content. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not interested in him right now. I'm trying to... Back in the pocket you go, Munchie. Good little lad. And now let us go around and... With our big, stinky feet. Can we just run? No, we cannot just run. That's annoying. Oh no, bounce! Whatever will we do? Oh, God damn it. The battle would have been over by now. Oh, fine. Your bounce means nothing to me. Cause I can just use an item, which is technically not casting a spell, so fuck you. This isn't a spell, by the way. Even though it looks suspiciously like a spell, it's technically not a spell. Loopholes are fun, 420 gold. Nice. All right, well that's whatever. I We want to be efficient, we can do two mid heals. Alright, dude. We're big people with warm bodies. I am Marek, the herb doctor of Urkutsk. I was gathering herbs here in this cave when suddenly some wolves attacked me. I panicked and ran deep inside. Then I got trapped by the falling icicles and could not get out. Ah, I am so cold. I have to find a way to warm up. I can think of several ways. What is that bag you have? Did you get it from an old babushka called Marta? So, she asked you to bring it to me. Is it that one? Can you open the bag for me? Just so happens, she probably gave us some, uh, some of that, uh, good weed, you know? She's got that good, uh, Russian grandma weed. Where was the bag? Surely it's... Oh, it's this, it's here. Uh, fine. I'll talk to you again, I guess. Thought you wanted me to open the bag. I am Marek. I panicked and ran. We know, we know, we know, we know you're cold. What is that? Did you get it? So, can you open the. We. Do I need to have it in my bag? Like, not in my bag, but on a character. There we go, fine. Look, grass. I knew it. Dobroy. This will be perfect. Normally, we drink this diluted in tea, but now I must take it straight. This was no grass sneak straight out of the bag. <laughs> So, nook grass must always be diluted. At least it was not the powdered form. No one wants that up their nose. Anyway, now I am warm, that is for sure. Thank you. You have saved me, my friends. And she saved me too. Now I believe her old saying, that there is no bad without good. But how could she have known this would happen? Yes, open the door. There's this is no trap. <laughs> if you are going back to Orkutsk, 
Perhaps we could travel together. Thank you. I am very grateful. If the wolves attack again, we are better to have safety in numbers. Well, now I can probably just do evac. Get out of this shithole. You got to find a way out. No way out. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that works. <laughs> They've been waiting for me. There are so many of them. Uh, be careful. These are no normal wolves. They are hellhounds. I've literally just fought these. Well, we'll see about that. This is the power of. AOEs! Oh, these ones are a little stronger. But probably not by enough to really matter. Oh. You horn dog. That one's like, ooh, Jessica looks delicious! In a non threatening way. <clears throat> well. Ha! Help me, friends! Why do they come for me like this? Wait. He is not the one. I sense Sage's blood, but it is not him. There must be another. We must find the chosen heir of the Sage. What? What was that voice? And what does it mean by the chosen heir? I cannot understand. It cannot be real. Dogs don't talk. Not in this magical world of monsters and like other things that are also probably monsters. All right, well, let's get back to uh, Orkutsk. And we will save at our first convenience. It is good to see you again, my friends. Thank you again for before. Forgive me, but there's something I must discuss with you. Conveniently, we can go to his room pretty quick now that that drunk dude's out of the way. I think it's this room. Nope, not, not this one. <laughs> okay, it's this one. A big pot of soup. Mmm. First, I must tell you about Marta. I did not mean to hide it. There was just no time to tell you before. She is my mother. I should be the one to take over from her. I should look after the ruin behind the house when she is gone. So I suppose you wonder why I am living here. The truth is, I abandoned my home. And my mother too. She is a wise woman. I wanted to put all I had learned from her to good use. But I could not do that if I stayed in the mountains. So I made my decision to leave, and I came here to help the people of Orkutsk with my herbs. And I should be happy, because I have helped them very much. But still I am guilty for leaving my mother all alone. Oh, looks like I did not have enough hard drive space left to, to for the VOD of this uh, of this of today's stream. So I'll have, to, I'll have to download this one separately afterwards from Twitch, in that case. I, I really need to get another uh, hard drive then for just Twitch VODs. You appear with a bag of herbs she sent to me. 
I cannot tell you how happy I am. It makes me feel that she has finally accepted the choice I made. That's what parents are for. We always try to take care of our children and help them out if they're in a pickle. But I'm sure you didn't invite us here to tell us your life story. If I'm not mistaken, you have a favor to ask. Forgive me, you are right. There is something that is worrying me about my mother. You heard it too. That strange voice when the wolves tried to attack me. It said something about me having the blood of a sage. But that I was not the one. That it must find the chosen heir. Well, an ancestor of mine was a sage. One of the sages that sealed away the Lord of Darkness. Now my mother and I are the only ones left from this bloodline. So, if I am not the heir, I am worried for her safety. So, I have decided to visit her and see that she is all right. And this is where I must ask you a favor. You will. Spashibo! Then we must... Uh-oh. Excuse me, Dr. Merrick, but there is a patient here to see you. It is madness, drinking yourself into a stupor and passing out in the snow dressed like that. Of course you catch a cold. Sorry, but I am in a hurry. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> so dizzy. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will see you. I have just gathered some herbs that will cure you quickly. I have no choice. Forgive me, but I must stay here for now. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I will come after you as soon as I can. I hope that there will be no problem, but... Well, that's what we'll be doing next stream, is going to, to his mama's house. Now I gotta... That's his bedroom. I don't wanna... No, He's not an ugly dude, but I don't want to go to his bedroom. <laughs> Alright, that's not the right door either. That's someone else's bedroom. Apparently I'm just magnetically drawn to people's bedrooms. <laughs> That or I'm just bad with directions. Alright. <laughs> Let's go to the inn and then we, we will uh, save. And then end the stream. And I gotta remind myself that I got to, to clear out space and download this VOD and last week's Arise VOD too. Because I don't want to lose those VODs. I haven't been able to get I haven't been able to get around to like uploading stuff to YouTube in a while. So my poor hard drive is like fit to burst. <laughs> so soon I'm probably gonna have to get a new one. Like another one, because my my hard drive I have my computer now that I store a lot of my games on and my VODs are is like a 1.8 terabytes, which is not a lot when you're storing lots of VODs that you just don't have time to get around to all the time. But so it, so it goes. That's kind of my fault for um, recording stuff. The advantage of that though is like if I forget about a VOD for on um, Twitch, I won't have to worry about like um, just losing stuff forever. But, that's just, them's the breaks. As if it's not one thing, it's the other. <laughs> Alright, so let's close this, and close that. And that will be our stream for today. Thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out while I stumble half mindfully through this game. <laughs> It was really hyped that we got that big casino win and got the, the agility rings. That was probably the highlight for me. Other than the 
plant fucking discussion, <laughs> I guess. But otherwise, yeah. Thank you for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate the company. And I appreciate and I like and I love sharing games I like with everyone else, so it's just win win. So I'm gonna try to find someone to raid, but tomorrow we'll be doing more Tales of Arise. Last last stream we actually finished fighting the five lords, but there's more to, to do because we're probably gonna have to go to Lenigus at some point. But let's see, let me look at uh, Twitch real fast. Let's see who's on, see who's going. Bye, Musty. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Most of the people that, like. Uh, we're going to drop in and see how uh, Hachi's uh, printing of um, Ovator's kitty head's going. I don't really see anyone else I would really want to raid into. So I'm going to stop my stream, and then we'll be raiding into Cloudstone Curios. See you there. Say hi to Hachi for me. I will too, but also say hi. So, see you there.